today I decided to record a video about black work for you and uh, many people are asking me why is my tattoo style changed so much in the last times in the latest days I didn't use microphone so I'm sorry for the noises <laughs> so why black work and uh, what made me change uh, my name is Valentina Rebola. first of all I forgot to introduce myself I'm a tattoo artist with a background with in Russian art schools Russian academies of art so classical painting classical drawing and sculpting is my first background uh, for several years I was studying in Russia I lived there most of my life in St. Petersburg then I moved to Europe and after several years in Paris and Germany I moved to New York where I'm currently living already for two years and I'm a realistic tattoo artist I started tattooing um, 11 years ago from now um, and mostly I was doing realistic work so similar to what you see on me like photographic color realism similar to this kind of tattoos and this and uh, in the last years I started to add a lot of heavy black work to it and for many people it became dissonant and interesting and not clear why exactly do I add this and I wanted to say that most of my life I always liked black work tattoos first of all I never thought I'd be a tattoo artist I just uh, liked Polynesian artwork and ancient tribes something about Aztec cultures always uh, took my attention and I always wanted to do black work when I started tattooing but it was kind of thought on the background I didn't really realize that that's what I want to do uh, I went into realistic style uh, because I was painting and I saw mistakes in most tattoo artists works in terms of volume, tones, values, I mean it's the same um, color combinations, I just could see what I could bring to the industry, I could see what I can change and that's why I started with this style mm, and very fast it exploded for me, like in a year already of tattooing I was quite known uh, worldwide, I guess, like it started to take um, to take attention in the world that's why I moved to Europe, thanks to realistic tattoos and uh, this is what you can see in most magazines, interviews, videos, is exactly that style. Uh, but then, little by little, I started getting bored of it, in a way, uh, because, first of all, when I did full body parts in realistic color, I noticed from far, it's not really easy to tell what is depicted on the body part. And in my taste, as long as you see the body part, you need to be able to understand what is depicted on it and what's the picture, what is it about. That's why I actually plan to do some black work also soon on myself, but this is later. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so especially when I moved to New York, it was thanks to a talent work visa, uh, I realized I have to tattoo more, and even though I was starting to get bored of it a little bit, I was kind of forced to tattoo more again and uh, take attention away from my other hobbies. And that's why um, one day I traveled to Mexico to one of my favorite spots for holidays and I just woke up in the middle of the night with the idea like why don't I just combine black work with a realistic color and that's how it happened from that moment on I started to do all my works including black work and sometimes even pure black without any realistic already and uh, that's why I want to do it on me as well and what I wanted to say in this video is explain my view on this black work art. Why exactly I like it, because not everybody probably understands that. So, actually, <laughs> I'd like to go quite in a weird direction into philosophy. A couple of times in my life I had a very strong, severe, depressive episodes. And... Um, after moving to New York, <laughs> I take meds, I posted about it. Um, and when you are thinking this much and this hard about meaning of life, about how all this is created, why, by who, you realize that everything what people believe in, all the nonsense, astrology, religion, uh, occult organizations, magic, 
everything what people believe in, what sounds ridiculous first, it all has a place to be because we never know and we will never know most likely what it's all about. We will never know, yeah, to be honest. At least we cannot imagine it for now at all. That answers would be there. So I realized no matter how absurd it sounds, if I felt all my life that ancient tribes knew something, that they live way more free than our civilized world, that they are way more happy in something, even if their life is shortened, that um, they had something that our culture lost and that they believed in some magical connection in the world, that it actually exists because otherwise we cannot explain why this, all this body, why the physical body has thoughts and then has the observer of the thoughts. It's very long and hard to explain. Probably Jim Carrey <laughs> would understand me because I saw he, since he got depressed, he was making a few statements like that in public, that this, there is some energy, there is something that makes the animal, what they call it in some cultures, something that makes life exist inside human body. And our thinking, our perception is not us, but there is some observer behind it. For example, when I was very depressed, I couldn't function, my thoughts were very chaotic, and it was like mixed episode, manic and depressive episode in one, and it was completely scattered and chaotic, but I was still there, and I was realizing, wow, what the fuck is happening with me? Um, and that's why there is something more to it that we cannot explain, science, science cannot explain we just don't know it. And to me, black tattoos, they represent this magical, what exists out there, what we don't know. It's like very sacral, ritualistic and um, mysterious style that correlates for me with my perception of life. Like we will never know. And it's so dark, it's so unclear, just like this black, heavy black ink <laughs> and it makes such a strong impact as well on people. So for example, when I was studying uh, black work tattooing, like it's a special technique for it because it heals a little different than color realistic, obviously, and it takes different equipment um, to make it happen, to make the black work. So I was learning it from an artist, Muchacho Navaja from Spain. And um, we went to a mirror one day together next to a mirror and we were looking at my tattoos and at his tattoos and actually the first thing you see was his tattoos because he has a black work bodysuit and he told me look like all the attention straight away goes to black work and there was a few examples where in realistic color tattoos artists told me the same you know why people like my work here just because they see this black spot take away black they will never like it anymore it's black is something like strong and special about it so when you look at the body with heavy black work, it makes very powerful impact and our attention grabs it way faster than the other tattoos. So yeah, to me it became totally meaningful and it makes sense. That's why I started to incorporate more of it and that's why I can't wait for Mooch to make my neck soon. I'm planning to make neck and back piece with, uh, with him purely black to become my own case also in terms of black tattoos because uh, all tattoos I have on my body are um, only made because I wanted to learn tattooing so I was getting tattooed by artists I liked to ask them questions to become friends to pick their brain and later just combine it in a way that it would look somehow more nice uh, but my pure passion for all this time was always black work so I hope this video was it was interesting. It's uh, twelve thirty here, so it's quite early. I wake up mentally only by three p.m. So I'm sorry for some repetitions and slow talking and whatever. Usually I talk super fast, which is bad maybe for the videos. Anyway, thank you for your attention and write your questions in comments. Maybe I can expand on it a little bit.